So today I'm in Seattle and I'm going to be checking out their bike share situation. So far I've only seen two different bike shares here in Seattle. They have the Jump, which is the red electric bike, and they have the Lime bike. Like, wow, look at that view. So this right here is Puget Sound, and this is the Jump bike we're going gorgeous view. Yeah, so I have ridden the Jump bike before. That was in DC, and they had a different pricing system. Also, this lock is new. I remember the old lock was this crazy U lock that kept falling off. But uh, yeah, it looks, looks good. Nice jump bike. Yeah, I've, I've ridden the jump before. Here's a little uh, view of the jump bike. Since we're on the clock, let's get going. Yeah, the responsiveness. Uh, maybe the responsiveness is better, I don't know. It's pretty fast. That should be fun. <laughs> also good to have a heavy duty bike on these like city roads. Hey. I just realized there's like stuff down here. This is all new. Wow. I don't know what it's for. I've got a pause button. I've got a... I don't even know what all that is. Here's my first show. But uh... Oh. A little faster. So this hill kind of sucks. <laughs> but I can definitely feel the assist on the hill. Definitely helped me out. Whoa, look at that view. Oh, look at that bridge. This is my like first time over here. <laughs> so another reason that these pay by the minute. Look at that, it's pretty. These pay by the uh, minute rides are not so good. Gotta wait for these bike bridges or trains, I guess. In any case, we we'll just look at this place. So here in Seattle, the two main bike shares are the Jump Bike, the Red, and the Lime Bike, both electric bikes. And here are just a few of the differences between the two. So this is the Jump and the Lime Bike, and they're pretty identical. They're both very heavy. So on the Jump, we have gears, but this Lime actually doesn't have any gears in the electric version. Uh, they both have a bell, a basket, but the lock system is very different. So we have this sort of uh, the locking system on the jump bike is like this cable lock. It's uh, much better than the old sort of U-lock they used to have. Um, and then on the line, it has the, like the same one that the pedalless ones, sorry, the electricless ones have. Straight that way, just sort of this locking mechanism there. But yeah, otherwise they're pretty identical. Uh, let's give it a spin and see how the line compares. Oh, the one thing I didn't like about the jump is like when you're riding your hand will hit hit up here like on this part right here and that's really painful when you're going downhill so they really need to improve it. yeah there's no gear so that's the biggest difference. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a little slower, I would say. Definitely not as stable as the jump. It's kind of like, I feel like it's gonna fall apart actually. Where am I going? So 
So that was my ride with the Lime bike. And I would say overall, I think the jump is a better choice. Uh, mainly because the jump feels more stable. I felt like there was a little bit more kick in the electricity. And the gears, of course, even though I didn't use them much, it makes a difference. I kept like reaching for the gears on the, on the Lime bike, trying to find them. Uh, yeah, this one felt a little rickety, uh, especially on the streets, a little more bumpy. The seat was not as nice as the jump seat. Um, overall though, I'd say the only concerns I had with the jump, namely the price, this was about the same price, and the, <laughs> there's one thing, let me show you. So the Lime has the exact same problem. So this little ridge here, especially when you're going downhill, your hand hits against that ridge and it really pinches your fingers. But yeah, so same problem with the jump there. But overall, I would choose the jump. There are way more Lime bikes than jump bikes. So I guess that's a pro for the Lime is that there's many more, but overall I'd say jump is a better choice.